This is Jordan Chapel in Vicksburg, Mississippi, and today's a Sunday morning. Some of the folks have gathered here today to do some sacred harp singing or Christian harmony or just play some good old hymns. shapes. You've got Fa, so, La, and Mi are the only shapes that they use. So uh, there is a little bit of difference and there's a little difference in the philosophy. Christian harmony is about blending your voices, making, having a nice smooth sound. Sacred harp on the other hand is, as one fellow described it, if you can hear your neighbor singing, you ain't singing loud enough. <laughs> so, so it's all about just you know, putting it out there and, 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 and letting it go. Whereas the, the Christian harmony is more about blending and, and, and getting a nice, a nice even sound. So this is technically Christian harmony. <clears throat> is the same between those notes no matter what key you start it in. The gaps, the intervals are always the same. So they gave each of those syllables, the way we fossil a a shape. And once you memorize the shape and the intervals between the shapes, you can take a shape note in book and you can take a song in that book you have never laid your eyes on. And within two minutes, you can do a fair proximity of of singing the song, and uh, so that was that was the basis, and that's why it works. And so a, a full verse of Amazing Race with just the shapes. Those of you that know them are singing parts, sing the shapes on your parts. So do me, do me, re do.
home, my long sought home. Home, sweet home, my long sought home, my home in heaven above. My examples of the original praise music that would have been heard along the frontier in the early days of the United States. We hope you enjoyed it and hopefully learned something. Have a great day.